What's going on guys? Killer6 back with some more Borderlands 3 for you and today we're going to talk about Mayhem Mode. Now before I get into Mayhem Mode and what it is and what it does and why you should do it, I want to remind you guys that if you have not yet beat the game, don't watch this video. This could be considered a spoiler, okay? And I don't want to spoil anything for you guys, alright? It's not what I'm about. I'm giving you guys plenty of time to click off the video. Alright, we good? Alright, cool. Once you beat the game, you will unlock what is called Mayhem Mode. You can go here and you can check information about it. it tells you insert the Vault Relic in the one of the obelisks to activate Mayhem. When Mayhem is activated, the world becomes harder but yields greater rewards. Mayhem Mode consists of varying difficulties. Fresh Vault Hunters will want to start in Mayhem 1 and work their way up to Mayhem 3 for the best chances of loot. Each Mayhem Mode increases enemy health, shields, and armor, but also greatly increases cash, iridium, experience gain, and loot chance. Now I know what you're thinking. Well, I'm level 50. Why do I need experience gain? Well, that's because of guardian ranks. See this uh, pink bar above my level 50? See it down at the bottom of the screen, that pink bar? Every time that goes all the way up via experience points, I get another guardian rank. And guardian rank is, it's kind of its own video. We'll, we'll get into that at some other point. But uh, yeah, that's why you'd want to still continue to gain experience points. All right, so with Mayhem 1, as you can see here, we click that and activate Mayhem 1. And then you can even click on this and it'll tell you exactly what Mayhem 1 does. Mayhem 1 increased loot quality by 200%. Experience, iridium, and cash increased by 200%. Enemy health is increased by 15%, and enemy shields and armor are increased by 25%. All right, and then it tells you all the different possible modes that can randomly spawn each time you do one of those Mayhem modes. All right, so let's activate Mayhem 2 and read about that. Mayhem 2, loot quality is increased by 500%. Experience, Iridium, and Cash increased by 500%. Enemy health is increased by 50%. Enemy shields and armor are increased by 75%. And then it tells you all the different modifiers there as well. And finally, the big bad boy, Mayhem Mode 3. Ho ho ho, Mayhem Mode 3. On this one, loot quality is increased by 900%. Experience Iridium and Cash by 900%. Enemy health is increased by 100%. The enemy shields and armor increased by 150%. And then you have a bunch of different modifiers in that as well. Now, I will say this. Mayhem mode one is just fine. Actually, turning off all the mayhems is fine too. If you don't want that extra challenge, don't feel pressured into doing it, okay guys? It's just like the OP levels in Borderlands 2, except these are rewarding. <laughs> OP levels in Borderlands 2, not at all rewarding. They, they serve literally no purpose now other than just to push yourself to the limits. But here in mayhem mode, you can get all kinds of loot, and it's absolutely worth it. So once you activate whatever mayhem mode you want, we're just gonna do mayhem one just to show you guys. And I'm gonna go ahead and fast travel and we're gonna go uh, fight a boss and I'm just gonna show you guys. All right, so as you can see here, this is our mayhem modifiers. I'm just gonna put that up here in the corner so you can kind of see it a little better. Uh, enemies take 15% less damage from radiation damage. Enemies take 15% less damage from corrosive damage. And it also shows you the, uh, the health shield and armor bonuses for each of the, uh, for the, the uh, enemies as well. Uh, it also shows you your experience gain, your iridium gain, and your loot gain. Now, one thing to note is if you want to, you if you don't like the modifiers you get, you can simply save and quit, reload your character back in, and you're going to get different modifiers each time. So, for example, if you're farming a boss and say you're really loving using a particular shotgun, but you spawn in and it gives you like uh, enemies take less damage from shotguns, you know, you feel free to save and quit and switch to the whatever modifier you want. But, uh, yeah. All right, so now we're going to test this out versus Lavender Crawly. Ooh, all right. So this is a, uh, a hunt that you can do for Hammerlock. Pretty fun little side things. Uh, there's lots to do in this game outside of just your usual story progression and all that fun stuff. So, beautiful. So as you can see, we get a little bit more loot than we normally would with this fight. And uh, including some uh, blues and purples instead of just greens and whites. So really nice little uh, little feature that you can turn on at any point in time. Now, anytime you want to turn off Mayhem Mode, you do need to go back to Sanctuary by the fast travel. 
and just go back up the stairs. I'm going to actually show you how to get directly to the place. I, I realized uh, at the beginning of the video, I didn't show you how to like actually find the place, but I'll just uh, run you up there real quick. Basically, all you got to do is uh, go this way, go past the golden chest, go past Marcus's, and you're going to go up this uh, set of stairs here as if you're going back to the bridge of the ship. Get out of the way, person. Get out of the way. Move it. I'm trying to make a video here. All right, and then you hang a hard right, and then boom, here's the mayhem mode uh, thing that you can turn on and off. And it's easy as just clicking on that, and now mayhem mode is off, and you can go back to doing whatever you want. Now, I will say this. Uh, turning on mayhem mode will scale the enemies to your level. So, for example, if you've done normal mode, you've beat normal mode, but you want to go to the droughts, and you want to farm something that you got at, like, say, level 10, because in the droughts, you know, you're low level, Turn on Mayhem Mode 1. Go back there and farm to your heart's content. It's going to be on level stuff. So uh, this is a, a really awesome quality of life addition. Along with everything else that we've seen in this game. This game is absolutely balls to the wall amazing. I'm in love with it. I hope you guys are too. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, then please take a second to hit that like button. Hit subscribe for more. Tap the bell icon to be notified anytime I post a new video. Because there will be a lot of new videos we're going to cover as much borderlands 3 stuff as i can find thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time take care